Thank you. Thank you. Uh, recently, the, um, uh, the CRTC approved a number of different uh, new uh, channels for us uh, Canadian viewers. And uh, we thought that uh, what we should do is show the ones that were not accepted uh, through application. And there was quite a few of them that were actually turned down. And I guess the uh, CRTC felt that uh, uh, these channels weren't uh, good enough uh, to, uh, to run on Canadian television. So what we have done is we got to hold these applications, uh, part of the package that was sent in to the CRTC, and uh, this is what we've come up with. Uh, first one here is uh, an interesting uh, combination of uh, automotive, uh, automotive skills and uh, people, of course, and uh, one of the things was called the uh, Driver's Network. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. These are, these are my applications, folks. Uh, a very uh, serious uh, problem today in society, of course, is uh, breakup of families and, uh, and all that unfortunate stuff that comes with uh, certain uh, social problems. However, in uh, light of all that situation, we've uh, gone ahead and we've uh, uh, found this, uh, this, one, this one new uh, network, which, uh, again, was turned down because of the uh, social climate, and uh, what they call it the uh, dysfunctional family network. <laughs> Uh, this one here, for example, is uh, for a group of people uh, who uh, unfortunately just uh, just uh, don't seem to add up half the time. And it's unfortunate, but still, it's a very popular channel, which uh, I I'm surprised it didn't uh, take off. And uh, what they've called it is the, uh, the low IQ channel. <laughs> So uh, if you want, uh, you know, get uh, right, get the uh, pen and paper out today and write to the uh, CRTC and say, you know, we saw we saw three shows that unfortunately did not make it on uh, to the airwaves. So uh, please, we like to see these uh, shows come on. So anyway, my uh, my next guest uh, <laughs> is a writing uh, a writing girl, and. Uh, Unfortunately, I, I still can't uh, correctly uh, pronounce this name, so I'm going to get her out here, and she can explain to us exactly what this all means. Uh, a big warm welcome for uh, Lauren Diani. Hi. Hi, Lauren. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. You're not going to whip me that thing, I hope, are you? It depends what you say to me. Uh, well, <laughs> 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 we'll see if you can pronounce dressage. It's a low IQ family thing. Uh. <laughs> The host whipping channel. That's right. New this fall. Okay, I'm having a problem with this word called dressage. Is that correct? Dr dressage? You did it right. Dressage? Dressage. dressage. How do you, what's it's, what's it's that mean? It's a French word that means to train. It's okay. very simple, and it means to train horses. To train horses? Yes. That's all you do? You don't ride horses? We or? do, but we train them. It, we train them in the art of dressage, which is basically like ballet on horseback or teaching horses to dance. But it has a physiotherapy effect for them too, as if uh, the ballet dancer uh, practices at the bar every day for a few hours. That's what dressage is: mm -hmm. build the muscles and the strength, and bring out the beauty of the horse's movements. Okay, that's now, what I, we when, do. When I first uh, think of uh, dressage, I, I think of uh, the the Royal Canadian Mounted uh, Police, the horses. That is that <laughs> is that dressage well, or close to it or to people who are uneducated. Sorry. Oh but. yeah. You <laughs> They do. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not criticizing you. They do a beautiful job, but what they do is not dressage. It is pattern movements and figures and things like that, which is lovely. But it's more of a military kind of style. Mm -hmm. What we do is actual, more dancing. You know, where they dance on the spot, or they do like skipping or pirouettes, where they turn around. And it's an ancient art. It started 600 B.C. in Greece. And it was for parades, for kings, for noble people to get on their steed and go through the town in their parade, and they would feel like the best, you know. Now, can you teach these horses how to, uh, say, uh, do a Michael Jackson moonwalk yes. or something? Yes. Like <laughs> there is a movement, and it's called the rain back, where they do precise backward steps. Uh, how does somebody get involved in this? Like, this is something I would not probably go after. 
Well, the love of the horse usually starts yeah. people, and quite often people will have started jumping. When mm -hmm. they learn how to ride, they start to jump, or they start to do three-day eventing. And then through the fact that they're, it's kind of a little more dangerous to do that, sometimes they say, well, I'd like to ride, let me learn how to do the flat work or the dressage, mm -hmm. and then they get hooked on it. Usually kids don't start riding dressage because it's very systematic and you have to be doing it every day in a systematic way because it is an art of training. Now, now for some reason, I can't see going out to uh, the racetrack and have these things, uh, like you bet on these horses. You don't bet on these horses, right? No, it's strictly an art. They're at the post. <laughs> it's strictly an art and They're a sport. Off. And, and it is the fastest growing equestrian sport right now in, in the whole world. You uh, brought a tape uh, with you, is mm -hmm. that correct, on showing the, uh, how this whole thing works out? The or, most uh, recent international competition with one of our top riders, Penny Winsome. Uh, Penny Zavitz and her horse Winsome, sorry. And... <laughs> Get that straight, folks. <laughs> and she just finished eighth there in Holland, uh, mm -hmm. the Volvo World Cup. So we have a World Cup circuit just like everybody else. That was a Piaf, which was trotting on the spot. This is a canter, collect a canter, now into a canter pirouette, where the horse is, has to pirouette around on a small circle. Smaller diameter, the better. Gives you a higher mark. Every mark is judged zero to 10 for every movement, and there could be 35 movements in a, comp, you know, in a test. Do they do this down at the uh, Royal Winter Fair? They have the Volvo World Cup night the first Saturday of the Royal Winter Fair, where this girl won, actually, last November there. Mm -hmm. what, what type of horses are those? Are like, is that an Arabian or something? No. Or just a... No, they're bred for this sport. They're usually warm-blooded horses, which is uh, usually a European horse. I think horse. those cold-blooded horses. Right? That's right. They're bred <laughs> specifically for dressage or for show jumping. Um, they're European, either German or Swedish or Swiss or Danish or... There's a big industry over there of just breeding now, these kind you, of horses. Now, you also have a big sort of activity coming up uh, in the near future, is that correct? In what August, is that all about? In August, we have the Canadian Championship, right? and that's at Kilbourne Farm in London, Ontario. And then in September, if anybody wants to come locally, we have the Ontario Pro Provincial Championships okay. here in Leechcroft Farm in Thornhill. That's up at 7 and... Four, Seven four. and Leslie. Seven and Leslie. Okay. And it'll be September 18th, I believe, for three days. Is there a contact phone number that people can, like, say phone up to get information? Yes, or? I do. I have it in my pocket. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's area code 905-728-5446. Um, okay, we'll get this up on the, the screen later on then. Uh, wh what else happens here? Like, I mean, you're in costume, and, and, and <laughs> you don't do this all the time. Okay. No, I do it. Well, we have to train every day, mm -hmm. um, six days a week, if, for six years to get a horse to do perform those movements. So you start my. I've been doing it for three years with my horse, so right. I'm still on my way. Great. But it's kind of like any sport; you need to do it every day to be good at it. Okay, then, Lauren. Well, uh, we're going to uh, keep an eye, uh, eye an eye open. Pronounce it for me. Their size. Dressage. Dressage. <laughs> Dressage. I think a massage for some reason. Dressage. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Lauren, well, thank you very much, and uh, thank you. all the best, and uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks Take a lot. Take care. Okay. Lauren. We're going to take, uh, <laughs> take a commercial break, and we'll be right back.